Here's a piece I picked up for an ugly duckling challenge. Can I make it a swan? First thing I did is I gave it a really good clean. This is one of those really outdated pieces that nobody wanted. Actually, I picked it up for $20. Um, the people wanted rid of it, so they actually delivered it to my house for me. So I got it for $20 and I was trying to reimagine it. I mean, it is solid wood. So I gave it a really good clean. I don't know what those middle pieces are. Um, the top actually needed to come off because it had um, a hole in it. So um, you can see here, I am taking it off and I will get a replacement piece. You see that hole there? So I took the whole thing off and then I did have some, um, oh, some little areas that needed um, to have some wood filler. So I used my wood filler and my putty knife and got in there and just took care of all those little areas. So next up, I took all of the hardware off. So it has a drop down door area that you can use as a desk. Um, I decided to style it as a um, kind of a liquor cabinet area. So I took all of the hardware off. I gave everything a really good scuff sand. Probably, I don't know if I was using a 220 or a 180 here, but there's a lot of nooks and crannies. And so you see here, I'm using liquid sandpaper and that is my final clean after I've given it a really good scuff sand. I clean it with liquid sandpaper and that just really helps me to make sure I'm getting into all of the little grooves because I might've missed something with the sandpaper and I need it to etch up the surface so that when I go to prime it, the primer will actually adhere to the wood. So the liquid sandpaper really helps me get into all those little nooks and crannies and gives me a really good clean too. Obviously, you can see that I'm wearing gloves here. This stuff is liquid sandpaper, so it will kind of take off some of the first layer of your skin. So make sure you wear the protective gear when you're using this. You can see I went over the entire piece, and now I'm going to set up a little area in my garage where I can actually spray paint it. So I have a tarp that I put down, just a drop cloth. I have it on the little rollers, and I'm going to section everything off, and then um, for primer, I use Ben Shellac primer. Um, the shellac, um, it is um, um, hard to clean up because you have to use denatured alcohol or ammonia to clean up, but it has really literally never failed me. Um, never have a problem with adhesion. Um, it adheres to laminate, um, wood, any kind of um, surface. It is a multi-purpose um, primer, so I highly recommend it. Um, this is the backer board that I got at Lowe's. Um, you can have it cut to size if you know your measurements, um, but I was doing the backing and I also had to do the top. So you can see here, I'm just marking it with some chalk and then I'm going to use my circular saw and I'm going to make the cut. I'm gonna use my brad nailer to attach the new top. Now I'm going to paint it out. I am using Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint in the color White Dove. And this one you do not need a top coat for. It um, dries really hard, rock hard finish, no top coat necessary. So um, I've used this several times and it works really well. Um, so you see I'm just cutting in and getting all those little nooks and crannies um, before I actually roll it. <music> Thank you. 
So in reimagining this piece, I decided to add a backing to the whole piece and I wanted to attach a wallpaper to it. So I chose this wallpaper. It has a gray backing and it has uh, lotus flowers on it. And you can't tell in this picture, but there's a bit of a metallic sheen to some of the gold areas. So um, I just carefully um, attached it. It's a peel and stick wallpaper. Um, you just have to be a little careful, but if you take your time and put it on and spread it out and it goes on really easily. And then I just used a razor blade to cut off the excess on the edge. So I adhered the backing after I'd already put the wallpaper on and you can see here, looks really good. Um, the last thing I need to do is there's an area at the top where you can see there's a seam between the backing and where the board is. So I'm just gonna adhere a little piece of lattice. And then to add a little bit of decoration, I'm going to use some gold wax um, on the edging of the doors. Okay, so let's get this thing staged up. I use a vinyl flooring that is easy to roll out and I have everything on rollers, so it's easy to just kind of put it down and put it against a white wall, which is the easiest to um, stage in front of. And then I'm going to stage it up with things that I have around the house. Sometimes I'll pick up things from Goodwill to use as staging items. I just try to kind of vary things. I try to use things um, in diagonals. And so sometimes I try things and I don't like the way it looks, so I trade things out. But um, once I get it all set, then I take a picture and just kind of look at it and see if I like it. But here is the finished product. So after I have it all staged up, tell me what you think.